The videos show the intense shaking caused by the earthquakes that struck near Ridgecrest, California over the holiday weekend. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Given our earthquake risk here in the Pacific Northwest, some of you are no doubt wondering, are we next? We really can't say no, that there's no connection. Um, but I, the best I could say is it's, it's, it's unlikely. Dr. Chris Goldfinger has studied earthquakes in the Pacific Northwest for more than a decade. He's an expert on the Cascadia subduction zone. That's that monster of a fault offshore that when ruptures could generate a magnitude 8 or larger quake, the one we often refer to as the big one. Goldfinger says there are similarities between the California faults and the Cascadia fault in that they are all along the ring of fire. But an earthquake along one does not mean a quake along the other is any more more likely to happen. The difference would be for us what we would feel is pretty light shaking but but very persistent for about a minute or more before any of the big waves actually arrived. Goldfinger makes another interesting point about all that shaking we've seen in the videos. He says the shaking from the California quakes was more of a quick rattle and roll. It was intense but over almost as soon as folks realized what was going on. In contrast, the shaking we will feel here when a Cascadia quake happens will be less rattling, but will last much, much longer. Four to five, six, eight times longer duration. And, and it would also feel much, much more like, a, like you're on a boat dock, just sort of rolling motion and less of the, 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 the sharp rattles and, and shocks. And he says it will be that persistent shaking for three to five minutes that will cause buildings, roads, and bridges to crumble. The region is not prepared for the most part to face an earthquake of that magnitude. Something New Yorker writer Katherine Schultz detailed four years ago in her article, The Really Big One, and more recently in an article about Oregon's tsunami risk. So for about a 700 mile skinny little strip of maybe a mile to three miles inland, uh, there you have a, a whole different problem and, and the reality is it's it's just going to devastate that complete area. Both Schultz and Goldfinger say the best thing that can come out of the California quakes is a heightened awareness that earthquakes do happen. And the takeaway is always it happened in California this week, it could just as well happen here next week and being resilient to earthquakes is all about being prepared. Okay, so really, what are the odds that we'll get one of those major earthquakes up here anytime soon? Well, the latest research says we have about a one in three chance of getting a major quake here in the Pacific Northwest in the next 50 years. Back to you.